araw na naman sa ating lahat and isa naman itong continuation doon sa ating discussion about quadratic equations. At the end of this video lesson, you will be able to solve quadratic equations by using the quadratic formula. So, ano nga ba yung ating quadratic formula? So, this is the quadratic formula which is x is equal to negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So, ito yung formula na gagamitin natin to solve a quadratic equation using yun nga ang sinasabi natin ng quadratic formula. So, we have steps to follow para hindi tayo malito and para maging organized yung pag-solve natin using the quadratic formula. So, first step is write the equation in standard form. So, palaging-palagi na dapat is laging nasa standard form yung ating given equation. Next is determine the values of A, B, and C. So, using the quadratic formula is first we need to determine the values of A, B, C using the standard form which is the ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. And lastly, we need to substitute the values of a, b, and c in the quadratic formula. So let's have our first example. Find the solutions of 2x squared plus 3x is equal to 27 by using the quadratic formula. First step is we will write the equation in the standard form. So yung ating given equation is not in standard form. So we will transform it into standard form. We will transpose 27, positive siya magiging negative. So, 2x squared plus 3x minus 27 is equal to 0. Quadratic term, linear term, constant term. So, nasa standard form na tayo. Next is, determine the values of a, b, and c. So, dun sa ating nakuha standard form dun sa ating equation is we have 2x squared plus 3x minus 27 is equal to 0. So, the value of a is 2. The value of b is 3 and the value of C is negative 27. So, ganun siya as simple. Next step is we will substitute the values of A, B, and C in the quadratic formula. Again, the quadratic formula is X is equal to negative B plus minus square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. So, papata lang natin, we will substitute the values na nakuha natin dun sa ating equation. So, B is 3. So, pinata natin ng 3. Next is B. 3 again. 4. Bring down 4. A is 2. Kaya ito yung nilagay natin. And then C is negative 27. Kaya nilagay natin is negative 27. And then 2 times A which is 2. Inuulit ko, substitute lang natin yung values na meron tayo yung sa ating quadratic formula. Next is we will equate the given. So, negative times positive 3 is negative 3. Next 3 squared is 9. And then, negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. And then, bring down muna natin sa negative 27. Then, 2 times 2 is 4. Next is, bring down negative 3 plus minus square root of 9. Negative 8 times negative 27 is positive 216. Same sign, so it will become positive. All over, bring down 4. Next is, we will add 9 plus 216. So, it will become 200. 25. And then, bring down negative 3, bring down 4. And then, 225 is a perfect square. So, the square root of 225 is 15. So, yung makukuha natin is negative 3 plus minus 15 all over 4. Next na gagawin natin is hahatiin natin yung ating nakuha which is negative 3 plus minus 15 all over 4. So, nahati na natin yung ating nakuha ang answer. Yung isa is positive, yung isa is negative. Kasi nga, positive, negative. So, ito siya. X is equal to negative 3 plus 15 all over 4. And negative 3 minus 15 all over 4. Unang-unang isasolve natin is yung positive. So, negative 3 plus 15 all over 4. Negative 3 plus 15 is positive 12. Then, bring down 4. And then, 12 over 4 is 3. So, meron na tayo nakuha na answer dun sa ating unang root which is X is equal to 3. Next is yung pangalawa naman which is the negative 1. X is equal to negative 3 minus 15 all over 4. So same sign tayo, mag add tayo and then copy the sign which is 3 plus 15 is 18 and then negative. So negative 18 all over 4. So hindi tayo pwedeng mag-divide dito so ang pwedeng gawin natin is mag-lowest term tayo. And 
Ang common sa dalawa is pareho silang divisible by 2. So we will divide both sides by 2. So yung negative 18 magiging negative 9. Yung 4 magiging 2. And then negative divided by positive is negative different sign. So ang answer natin dito is x is equal to negative 9 over 2. Inuulit ko lang, negative divided by positive, the result is negative. So yung negative natin is doon na siya sa buong fraction. Therefore, the equation 2x squared plus 3x is equal to 27 has two solutions or roots. And these are yung mga nakuha natin kanina, x is equal to 3 or x is equal to negative 9 over 2. Pero pa tayong last step dito which is yung checking. But nasa discretion nyo na lang kung gagamitin yung checking para malaman nyo kung tama yung answer nyo. Pero kung confident naman kayo na yung process nyo is tama is pwede na tayo sa mga tlong step. Pero kung gusto nyo um, i-assure kung tama yung inyong answer is substitute nyo lang yung values na nakuha nyo doon sa ating nakuha or doon sa ating given na equation na dapat is equal yung makukuha natin doon sa ating final answer. Number 2 is find the solutions of 3x squared minus 4x is equal to 0 by using the quadratic formula. So same process lang tayo, write the equation, and then find the values of a, b, c, and then substitute the values that we have which are a, b, and c to sa ating quadratic formula. So we will write the standard form. Kung makikin natin sa ating equation is we don't have the constant term. Tama? Meron lang tayo yung quadratic term and then we have the linear term. So, tandaan natin, ang basihan natin para malaman kung yung ating equation is a quadratic equation. Dapat yung highest degree natin is square or 2. Ang highest degree natin is 2. Walang degree na 3. Dapat 2 yung pinakamataas. And then, kahit wala tayong linear term, kahit wala tayong constant term, basta meron tayong quadratic term, is quadratic equation pa rin yan. Tandaan lang natin yun. So, this time, wala tayong constant term. So, first is, or next, we will find the value of a, b, and c. So, sa ating given equation is, ang a natin is 3, b natin is negative 4. Tandaan natin yung sign sinasama natin, ha? Kung ano yung sign ng ating term, ilalagay din natin. Kung positive, positive. Kung negative, negative. At dahil wala tayong constant term, ang ilalagay natin is 0. Hindi dahil 0 yung dito, is 0 ang nilagay natin sa c. Kaya nilagay natin yung 0 kasi we don't have the value of the constant term kasi wala nga siya dito sa ating general equation. Next step is we will substitute the values of ABC to the quadratic formula. So the quadratic formula, and then substitute natin. So CB is a negative 4. Yan, pinagdala lang natin siya ng negative 4. Same din dito, negative 4. And then A is 3. So nilagay natin si 3. And then C is 0. Kaya nilagay natin si 0. Next sa baba is si A is 3. Nilagay natin is 3. Ulit ko, bakit negative 4 to? Kasi B yung ating hinahanap. And then, substitute natin yung ating value ng B dun sa ating nakuha kanina, which is negative 4. Next, B, negative 4 pa rin. A, A is 3, so 3 ang nalagay natin dito. And then, C is 0, and then 0 ang nalagay natin. And then, lastly, A is 3, so 3 yung nalagay natin dito. Next is, we will equate yung ating nakuha, which is negative times negative 4. Dahil same sign yan, pag nag-multiply tayo ng same sign is ang lalabas, positive. So, magiging positive na yan. Magiging 4 na lang. Next is negative 4 squared is 16. Next, negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. Different sign. And then, bring down 0. And then, 2 times 3 is 6. Next is, bring down 4 plus minus square root of 16. Bakit na wala yung 12 times 0? So, 12, negative 12 times 0 is 0. So, wala na tayong ilalagay. And then, bring down 6. Next is, we will square root yung ating 16, which is, 16 is a perfect square. So, ang square root ng 16 is 4. So, ang nakuha natin, x is equal to 4 plus minus 4 all over 6. And then, hahatiin lang natin yan, positive, negative, or plus minus. Yung una, 4 plus 4 over 6. And then, the other one is 4 minus 4 over 6. So, x is equal to 4 plus 4 over 6. And, 4 minus 4 all over 6. Next is, uunahin mo natin yung positive. So, 4 plus 4 over 6. 4 plus 4 is 8 over 6. And then, we can't divide. Itong dalawa na to. So, we will find yung lowest term niya. So, we can divide both sides by 2. Dinivide natin ng 2 yung 8 is 4. Kapag dinivide natin ng 2 yung 
6 is 3. So our final answer is x is equal to 4 over 3. And then yung ating second one, which is yung negative. 4 minus 4, all over 6. Next, 4 minus 4 is 0 over 6. So kapag dinivide natin yan, is 0 yung makukuha natin. So yung ating answer is x is equal to 0. Pero na question, what if yung 6 is nasa taas, yung 0 nasa baba? So kapag ganun yung answer natin, hindi 0 yung lalabas. Ang makikita nating answer dyan is undefined. Yung ulit ko, kapag ang 0 is nasa denominator side, ang answer natin, undefined. So dito kasi is nasa numerator side siya. So 0 yung answer natin. Therefore, the equation 3x squared minus 4x is equal to 0 has two solutions or roots and these are x is equal to 4 over 3 or x is equal to 0. That ends our video lesson. Kindly like, subscribe, and click the notification bell button para maraming updates sa mga bagong videos natin. Maraming maraming salamat and God bless us all.